mess up. Uh. Hi. Um. Oops. Oh wow. I'm currently packing for my move back to the states, back to college. Um, since I've been doing virtual online classes for this entire year, I've been home, and I guess this is my prep process. My was I out of focus? Okay, I don't, I don't know why I just did that. I thought it'd be a fun little video to do like a preparation of me before traveling back and to see what kind of goes down when we're traveling during COVID times and also what I do, what I'm going to be doing before going back. Okay, anyway, back to packing. I'm a little overwhelmed, but we're just gonna, we're gonna do what we can right now. Say hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so it's a little bit later in the night and by that I mean it's um, 9 p.m. I'm a few glasses in. It's my parents anniversary so we were celebrating a little bit. Since I don't know I don't know if I like mentioned before at all but we are in lockdown in Thailand right now. Everything is basically shut down so um, I was planning to actually get my hair done before going back to the states because I just feel like my highlights will kind of grow out and I'm trying to grow my hair long so I just feel like they would look weird so I was actually planning to go to the salon and dye my hair again but unfortunately everything is closed so that means that we are going to be doing it ourselves. My knee just cracked. However, I have dyed my hair quite a few times before and it didn't turn out too bad, dare I say myself. It was actually okay. So I don't think this will be too bad. So if Brad Mondo happens to come across my video, don't be mad at me for using box dye. I live in Thailand, so we don't really have like a Sally's. Unfortunately, I have to use box dye. I'll be right back. section by section I was really patient with it so I hope I got everything but um, it looks really dark I mean I'm not mad about it it's fine and I have a mosquito bite right there yeah it says we have to wait 30 minutes so in the meantime we are going to Jeez. we are going to this is my hair Ta -da. styled. Ooh. Yeah, this is my hair styled with a little bit of makeup on. I'm wearing this cute thrifted dress that reminds me of my mom for some reason. Yeah, I love my hair. Okay, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm trying to find like a not messy angle of my room, but literally. So it's the next day and I have my hair in a treatment. Basically it's just coconut oil and a lot of olive oil because I used box dye. So there's a lot of ammonia in it. My hair feels a little dry. So I want to take care of it. Anyway, so I'm back to packing again. Um, I packed two suitcases. And I guess I just want to give a little tip for if you're traveling abroad or the birds. If you're traveling abroad and you're just a little bit overwhelmed with what to pack. Sometimes I pack the night before, <laughs> but this time I'm packing like a month before. Just because I know that I'm not going to be home for quite some time. And I want to make sure that I have everything I need. And a great tip for packing is literally just writing things down. So before I started packing, I actually wrote down some notes of what I want to bring. Like I know I want to bring clothes, like if I needed to buy anything, if I wanted to buy some gifts for people, and that's what I did. And then while I'm packing, 
I write down what bags I'm bringing and then what I'm putting in each bag. Kind of like a inventory, but not in the sense of like five white tank tops, three jeans or whatever. I'm just kind of writing like this bag mainly has clothes. This bag has my gifts, my clothes, my shoes or whatever. And it just makes it feel a little less overwhelming because I can see as a whole what I'm bringing and I can see like, oh, okay, I'm missing this or I need to bring more of this or I need to put this in here or whatever, you know what I mean? It's just more organized, <laughs> to simply put it. Not gonna lie, I've been sitting in the same spot for an hour and a half <laughs> not doing anything. I just don't really, I don't know. It's just sometimes packing makes me sad because I'm leaving a place. And especially here, I'm leaving home. So I'm kind of sad and packing just makes it so real and although i'm excited to go back to the states because i haven't been there in like a year and a half or more over a year and a half it's just home is home you know i miss i'm gonna miss my parents i'm gonna miss my cats and i just packing just makes everything so real Thank you. 